Welcome to a video taking a look at variance and standard deviation. Our aim in this video is simply to find the variance and standard deviation for a discrete data set. First of all, let's take a look at the variance. Now this symbol here, this symbol means sigma. It's not to be confused with the capital sigma. This is a lowercase sigma. This sigma up here just means sum of. When we see a lowercase sigma, this is referring to variance and standard deviation. So sigma squared, this is what we call the variance. And let's take a look at this formula. We can see that sigma squared, the variance, is equal to the sum of the squares divided by the number of values. Subtract the mean, so the sum of the values divided by the number of the values squared. Now a nice way to remember this is this phrase here that it is the mean of the squares so the mean of the squares this part here minus the square of the mean so the, the mean of the squares so add all of the squares together and divide by how many there are minus the mean calculate the mean and then square it now standard deviation standard deviation is simply the square root of variance. So it's simply the square root of this formula that we've got above. So let's take a look at how we might go about doing this. I'm asked to find the variance and standard deviation for the numbers 8, 9, 12, 10, 6, 5, 15 and 13. So what I like to do is I like to set up a little table like this and I like to just simply put my numbers into this table. So let's do that now. So I'm just putting my numbers here. Okay, so these are my values. And then what I need to do is I need to calculate these values squared. So this is the first thing I'm going to do. So that's going to give me 64, 81, 144, 100, 36, 25, uh, 225 and 169 so now what do I need from this well I need to first of all I need to calculate the sum of both of these things so I need the sum of my values and I need to calculate the sum of my values squared so what is the sum of the values squared what is the sum of my values. Now for this I'm simply going to use a calculator. So using a calculator, being a bit lazy really, um, we're going to just add all of these up. So 8 plus 9 plus 12 plus 10 plus 6 plus 5 plus 15 plus 13 that gives me a value of 78 so this sums to 78 and now let's calculate the um, let's calculate the values squared the sum of the values squared so that's going to be 64 plus 81 plus 144 plus let's have a look plus 100 plus 36 plus 25 plus 225 plus 169 are there any more behind there? no, that's it that gives us 844 so now we have calculated these we can simply input these into our formula so let's do that so our variance sigma squared is going to be 844 divided by the number of values I've got. So how many values have I got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I've got 8 values. So it's going to be 844 divided by 8 minus um, 78 divided by 8 and it's the square of that value. 
So let's uh, work this out using our calculator. So I've got 844 divided by 8 minus um, minus 78 divided by 8 squared. And that gives me an answer of 10.4375. Ten point four three seven five. So that is our variance calculated. We just calculated our variance here. We now need to calculate our standard deviation. Our standard deviation is simply the square root of the variance. And so um, let's do that. So square root of our answer here. Um, how do I put in answer? I'm not sure, let's just put 10.4375 and that gives us a standard deviation of 3.2307 so my value for sigma is just going to be the square root of 10.4375 and that gave us, let's just have a look again, 3 point, and I'm just going to call it 3.23 for just ease of writing it down. So our standard deviation, 3.23, our variance, 10.375. Okay, hopefully you can follow this. If not, um, watch this part again and maybe take some notes. What I suggest you do now is you pause the video and attempt this question here, so you're asked to find the variance and standard deviation for the following set of data 7, 10, 12, 13 and 11 so pause the video, attempt the question and then press play to see the answers so what we should have done is we should have first of all set up a little table like I've done put our numbers in it, calculated the square of each of the values summed each of these up then simply input these into our formula and so we end up with a, a value for variance of 4.24 and then for the standard deviation a square root of our variance 2.0591260288